Tony, obviously a lot of anticipation building into this season. Like, what, what have you kind of been telling the guys, like, entering this year, knowing that expectations have been sky high for them? Well, first off, I tell them we're on a one-game losing streak. So, uh, you know, that, that's, that's our focus to kind of turn that around. But, you know, literally, our, you know, we, you don't get as successful as our kids have been without focus on the right things. And uh, we just focus on the process. They know the process. We roll in there. Our first practice is August 12th. And then on August 13th, we better be better than August 12th. And that's the process all the way to the, you know, the game that we have at home on September 5th against Finley. Um, and that's how you do it, you know. You get ahead of yourself, you focus on the wrong things, you know, don't, you don't commit to the process and then bad things can happen. So um, that's been, been, been our MO and we've been able to do that very, very well. Uh, this is the first time that the Gleac has had a media day for football in over 10 years. And uh, so how's it feel to be here? I mean, I know it got kind of a, a different type of start with the fire alarm. <laughs> yeah, you know, fire alarm, it, uh, it uh, obviously shakes us up a little bit, but um, it's awesome, you know, I think it's a great idea. Um, I, I was hoping I'd get out of here a little bit sooner so I'd get back to Big Rapids. i got a lot of work to do to prepare to, for next Monday, but uh, um, it's, it's a great, great event, um, great for the players, obviously, for them to be exposed to some of the people that they're playing. Um, you know, great to see my three former assistants. Uh, that's always cool to see, you know, Coach Brady at Saginaw and Coach Nystrom at Northern and Coach McEwen at Davenport. So all three of us were together, or all four of us were together in 2016, and, and now uh, I wish them well except for our game. <laughs> and, uh, it's pretty rare that you're coming off a championship season and you return a majority of your players. Like, what? how key is that for you guys, and as a coach for yourself, to have guys that you – you know very well and they know you very well that they can go out and compete right away well there's a lot of trust obviously trust is a key component to our success and and hopefully they trust me and they know that i love them and and uh you know one of our goals as coaches to have them love us and so uh you know those are the things that that we really focus on um other than that you know there's some comfortability and and um you know going out there with the same group of guys for the most part but there's also some concern about whether they're going to be complacent, content, um, feel like they've arrived, entitled. So we got to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, so far, so good on that. You know, in the off season, our guys uh, just you know stay, stayed with it and kept on working hard. But uh, you know, we want to make sure that we don't think that we've arrived because there's a lot to do. What we did last year is. Uh, not going to help us at all this year, so we we got to get it done this year. Yeah, in the spring we did. Uh, how is Jay Rue doing? We didn't get a chance to see him in the spring he, because of an injury. But. Yeah, he's he's progressing. So uh, it's his left elbow, but he he's progressed quite well. Do you think he'll be ready for that first game in we'll one month? See, you know, I don't want to pressure him into thinking that that's something that uh, has to happen. Um, so Finley will just have to wait and see whether he's out there. You're going to make them wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the end of the day, you know, we, we've got, we've got, uh, you know, we got some things up in the air in regards to that. But we also had to, you know, participate in the spring without them. So we got guys that are, are prepared to, you know, know, know in our system and be able to be successful in our system. Yeah, you have quarterbacks like Travis Russell or like guys that have been there throughout your entire career, kind of, or their entire. They kind of know the system. Here. Yeah, we got, you know, that's the comfort. Uh, we have is we do have a lot of depth you know we've got you know, we're talking on the way here you know and and I said Devante I said when was the first time you started he goes week seven uh, really will will start at the first six game he goes yeah and so they're both back and then we got John Higgins as a Mike linebacker he's back so all those guys have been with us at least four years so uh, the comfortability of having that kind of depth and guys that really know you know, how, how we operate, um, that, that's key to our success. With all the weapons that you guys have on every position kind of deal, like, do you feel like there's a strong point to your team like that you guys will really utilize this year? Well, you know, it starts up front. So we got a lot of offensive linemen back, four guys that started the national championship game back, um, and a lot of defensive linemen back. So, um, you know, we had uh, four All-Americans, and three of them are back. So, uh, you know, that's key. You know, uh, a lot of good players, 
Um, hopefully they report with the same hunger and desire to be great. Um, if we, we have that in our hearts to, to you know, work it every day to be great, then you know, we have a good chance to be really good. So. As tough as that finish was last year, Coach, how long did it kind of take you to kind of get beyond that and start looking ahead to, to this year? I was talking about it yesterday, actually. So uh, I always, I always kind of assess how I could have done something different. And so, um, you know, you do that as a coach. So uh, you live and die every, uh, every game. But uh, when you win, you go to the next one. When you lose, you die. And so, um, you know, it's just something that just wears on me. But, uh, you know, it doesn't, uh, I don't focus on it, but I reflect back sometimes and hopefully learn from uh, the situation how to, how for me to be better. With all the success you've had at all the various levels, uh, I imagine you're pretty comfortable with a, with a target on your back. Do you talk to the guys about uh, that, kind of being that team that everybody in the league is shooting for? Yeah, that's a great question. The target is, is uh, you know, just how we perceive ourselves. So the target is complacency. The, the, you know, the, the, the target is uh, feeling entitled or that somebody owes us something. Um, so... You know, we can we can knock that target off very easily if we have the right approach. You know, at the end of the day, we've been who we are. You know, we've lost 15 games, I guess, in seven years. So, you know, the targets existed for a long time. Whether we play the national championship game or, you know, we win the GLIAC three of the last five years, we've been undefeated in our regular season three of the last five years. So, people know who we are, and uh, and uh, they're going to come after us. But you know, again, it's more about us than them. How tough is this league? How prepared does it get you? I mean, do you think you make the, the title game last year if you don't have that regular season to kind of prepare you? Yeah, first off, we got a tough non-league, uh, two, two opponents to start the season. You know, Finley's a great opponent, and then we got to go to Central Washington. Then we start um, the, the GLIAC play with the team that has a winning record against us, the only GLIAC team that's got a winning record on the road. So we got to go to Central Washington and then to Ashland. So uh, it's pretty pretty important that we get a fast start. We're prepared to play because uh, you know there's a lot of uh, really good teams that we got to play early. And then you know a as it wears on, the Gleex, uh, you know, a test every week. And if you're not ready, you know, you can you know you can lose your hopes pretty quickly. What is it like to be here and uh, kind of know that football season is just around the corner? It's really great to be here knowing that football is just right around the corner. Um, it's been a long wait after a long season, but um, everybody's just anxious to get back on the field and get back after it. You guys return a majority of your offense this year. Like, What does that really mean to you guys to have a lot of the weapons that you have on offense back and ready to compete? Um, return a lot of guys, that's probably one of our biggest assets this year. We return a lot of experience, um, a lot of talent with that experience. and. Um, Everybody's just anxious to get back on the field with all the talent and experience coming back. And uh, you heard like a, the depth was kind of like a major part of you guys' success and ma making a major run last year. Uh, with all all the athletes that you have on offense, how key is that for you guys to not only uh, put up some big numbers but keep it going throughout all four quarters? Yeah, well, with the depth we have, um, it has to start off in practice with the depth, you know, with ones, twos, and threes. It's really not kind of looked at as ones, twos, and threes. Everybody's kind of a one. So we want even like our threes considered to know as much as the ones because anybody could go at, go down at any moment. So, and, and that's what just helps us out as a team with having so much depth and so much experience and knowledge in the offense. What do you feel like you guys learned from that national championship run and like where you guys can possibly make another run towards it again this year? I feel like from being in there, we learned that we can get there. Um, we learned that it takes a lot, a lot of time, a lot of patience, a lot of effort, and, and a lot of teamwork. And then, like Coach Anissa said earlier, it's a lot of love that it takes. You got to stay conscious of people on the team. You got a lot of different personalities you're dealing with. So just to keep everybody together for like a full 16-week season, it's going to be some work. So what we learned from that is it's going to take some more work, love, and, and teamwork and patience with one another. Since that day, what has the anticipation kind of been like to reach September 5th and play in that first game for you guys? It was just a great experience being down there in Texas, but we kind of put that in our back seat and uh, we're just focusing on September 5th right about now. Uh, you feel like you guys are going to have a target on your back with the success you guys had last year? 
Well, every week, you know, it's going to be competition every week. This is a tough league, so all of our competitors, they're really tough. They have great talent, um, and it's just going to be a, a good, great game every week, week in, week out. It feels good to be here. It's just like a, it's a wonderful experience, you know. You know, we put in a lot of hard work, and yeah, it's just nice to be here. I like it. Yeah, you know, you know, you come into this, uh, you know, interviews and talking to people, it's already nerve wracking, and then as soon, as soon as we start, the fire alarm go off. It's just, it's just added, just added a little more butterflies to the stomach. Uh, yeah, we a lot of high expectations, but we just trying to take it one game at a time, one quarter at a time, and you know, we're not trying to get ahead of ourselves. We're not trying to. People keep asking us, oh, what are we gonna, how are we gonna get back to the national championship? But we just really just trying to take it one step at a time and start with uh, Finley. Yeah, like, like you said, it's a lot of, a lot of people returning, so the chemistry's already there, but we're just making it stronger. Everybody's been working hard this summer. Everybody's got faster, stronger, lost some weight. And I just feel, we, it's a lot of stuff we still need to work on. But I just feel like we, we're preparing ourselves and correcting the mistakes that, that held us back a little bit last year. And I feel like we're just going to come back stronger and better than we were. Yeah, what did you guys learn? I mean, you guys played 16 games last year. Ever. So, like, right. what do you guys learn from that run and uh, that final game? Well, we learned depth is important in a 16-game season. Uh, you need a lot of depth. Everybody has to be ready to play. Nobody can be... Our backups, our backups need backups, and everybody just needs to know everything, be paying attention in film, and everybody just has to be able to be ready when your name's called, because you never know when your name is going to be called. Like me, I didn't, my, my, my first game I started was against Michigan Tech, like week eight, and it's just when your, when your numbers need to be called, you know, depth, depth is very important, so, yeah. And so the season starts in one month officially now, yeah. so like, how is the kind of anticipation building this for you guys to take the field for the first time? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're all we all we have like a huge group chat and all we talk about is camp, how we're gonna be in camp, and we just you could you could tell that everybody's mindset is on a different level right now. Everybody's just ready to go, and just when that first game comes, everybody's gonna be excited for it. I remember like talking to a lot of you guys in the locker room after that championship game, and it was a lot of. Yeah, like we know we know what it takes to get there now. So we're gonna try to duplicate our season, but even but go even further than that. So yeah, we we're ready. We're ready for this season. We've been ready since uh, after after Valdez State. We've been ready since that game to to start spring ball, winter conditioning. You could tell it's a different level of focus, and everybody's just ready to come back and compete. How competitive is this league? How much do you think it kind of prepares you for, for success? Uh, Gliag has a lot of teams that I believe could play Division One football and can very compete at a very high level. So playing the Gliag, then we play other teams like in the GMAC or the SWAC. It's just different. It's, I mean, people in the Gliag are just ridiculous a ridiculous have ridiculous amounts of talent i believe that a lot of players in the in Gliac could play at division one double a or division one fbs so yeah the Gliac the Gliac is a very tough league to play and you never know who's going to win it it's always you have to wait to the last season to figure out i mean the last game to figure out